Master and the Dragon Cat, there you go. I forgot to change the third person. And welcome back to another video of Top 5. I haven't done this in a while, but now I have. So today I am going to... So as you guys know, there is a new update in Minecraft. There has been a lot of updates made. And just to tell you guys, I believe that the PE version is now exactly the same as PC because I played PC yesterday I checked the creative menu there was nothing else extra that PE didn't have so I believe the only difference between PC and PE now is that PC just has better servers but that's about it so we're gonna start from five all the way to one. Five is the worst out of everything. One is the best. So let's get this started. Number five. So this took way longer than you, it should have, and I don't know why it took so long, but they finally have added stained glass and stained panes, which is really, really cool. And also something that I've realized, I don't know, this has been going on for a while, but if you just put down one glass pane, it looks like a pole. And I believe, and like it wasn't like that before, so that is really, really cool. You can make some pretty cool designs with that. And if you put on like another glass pane on top, it's just gonna be like a pole up in the air. Also something else is that they have added is a book and quill, which is really cool. Now, number four is parrots. Yes, guys, they have added parrots. There was five different colors. There is cyan, red, blue, gray, and lime green. Now, the cool thing is that these parrots do make noises. They are also capable of imitating sounds. So, for example, if there's a mob 20 blocks away from the parrot, the parrot might imitate a sound. It can imitate anything, like a creeper, a spider, a skeleton. The parrot will imitate the sound. Um, the parrot will imitate the sound. Uh, a higher the uh, sound imitation will be higher pitched than the actual noise, so you will be able to tell the difference and the parrot has tendencies of looking in the direction of the mob it is imitating so for example if the parrot's imitating a creeper then you know then you can look at your parrot you can see what direction it's looking at and you can um, see and basically know that the creeper might be coming your way now the way to tame these parrots is you need seeds um, so yep, just tame them with seeds. Parrots spawn in in the jungle biome. I believe there's a lot of them. Parrots also will dance to the jukebox if a music disc is playing and it is based off the party parrot meme. You can look at that up online. Also, there's another cool thing. So we're going to tell our red macaw here to, to stand up. Yes, they will sit and stand, they will follow you around, and they will teleport. So, like, for example, flies up. And here's the cool thing. If you walk through it, uh-oh, where did it go? It disappeared. Do not fear. A parrot is capable of perching on your shoulder. It will choose your left shoulder first, but that's not the cool thing. Let's actually grab our blue macaw here. Follow me. He's gonna sit down on the ground. And boom! You can have one parrot on each shoulder, which is pretty awesome. And, you know, I'm gonna keep these two macaws on my shoulder for the rest of the video, because, you know, why not? And it's pretty cool. Now, if you go up one a block, as you can see here, they will fly off now. 
Now if you jump off a block, they will also fly off, but if you like walk down a block, they won't. If you go up up a half slab first, then they won't jump off your shoulder. Also, you never want to feed these parrots cookies because it will kill them instantly. So that's that. That's pretty cool. I like my two little parrots here. It's pretty awesome. They look snazzy up there. <laughs> Um, also, parrots, unfortunately, cannot be bred, which is very, very sad, but, oh well. Alright. Hold on. Alrighty, guys, I'm back, so I just had to do a little something. So, number three, commands. Okay. Now, I believe... I'm not sure if they added more commands, I can't tell you that, but this is a little thing that they added which is pretty cool. Also they added a mute chat type of thing which is pretty cool. But now what you can do is most of the commands you still have to type in, but if you click on the slash button, you can set world spawn. So like for, for instance you're standing here, you can set world spawn. If you click teleport. You can click who, and there will be a list of players. And then if you click where, you can click on the next player, which is pretty awesome. Then there is time. You can make sun 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 sunrays, sunrise, day, noon, sunset, night, midnight, which is pretty cool. And they have the pictures as well, so you know how it's going to look like. And then the last one they have is weather. They have clear, rain, and thunderstorm. And that is really cool. What? Alrighty, guys, I'm back. So, another thing with the commands. This is... This doesn't really have much to do with commands, but I'm just going to quickly leave the world right now. Just to um, show you this. Uh, there you go. So what you can do is you can click on this pencil, and if you scroll down, you can have all of these things over here. Okay, my mom came in again! Alright, hopefully this time she won't come in. Alright, so what you can do is you can activate cheats, show coordinates, which you probably saw on the left of my screen you can make it always day you can do daylight cycle if you turn that off for example if it's at the moment in the world it's daytime it will stay forever daytime if at the moment it is nighttime it will stay forever nighttime i actually have daylight cycle off on one of my worlds because i it's a funland world and i like made everything lit up so i keep it always nighttime you can turn off fire spreads, TNT explodes, you can turn keep inventory on, which is pretty cool because if you die, you can, you'll still have all your stuff. You can do mob spawning, natural regeneration, mob loot, mob griefing, tile drops, entities drops, and weather cycle. I have the weather cycle off because rain annoys me extremely bad now of course you can do all of these commands while you're in the game and in order to do that you just need to do slash game rule and then you press space and it gives you all of these options on what you can do like command block put do daylight cycle so whatever you want to do you just type one of these in and like for instance like you would want to do keep inventory if you want so at the moment keep inventory is false which means that if you die your inventory will disappear if you want that to be activated you do slash game rule keep inventory space true that will activate it and um, you will keep your inventory did I tell you to get up Can somebody explain me why this parrot is? Oh, um, okay. So, see if you jump up a block.
It will. It will. Okay, these parasitic quit shitting on me. I don't know where my macaws went. Okay, so. Guys, if you want. See, they come up to you and they can perch by themselves. Alright, guys, if you leave the world, apparently while the parrots are in your shoulders, when you come back in, they disappear, and I did not know that, so now you do. So before you leave the world, make sure to tell the parrot, make sure to get the parrots off your shoulders and tell them to sit down. Okay, I'm gonna make it daytime. <laughs> no, no, not weather. No, not, 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 not. Time, day, and click. All right, awesome. Okay, so, yeah, so basically if you do a game rule command and you type in true, that means the command will be activated and it will be working. If you type a command and then write false, that means it will unactivate it and it will not work. For instance, if you do do mob spawning false, that means no more mobs will spawn. And uh, yeah, it's, pre it's pretty cool. And actually what I did in some of my worlds to get rid of the mobs, I did do mob spawning false. And then you can do this thing where you do slash kill at E. So let's see. If you put at A, it will kill all players. If you put at E, it will kill all entities. So for example if i were to do slash mob spawning false so no one will ever spawn and then kill all entities it will get rid of all the mobs and no more mobs will spawn because for example in that funland world that i have i don't want mobs to spawn there so i fixed the problem now number two number two is we're gonna do inventory now they updated the inventory which is pretty cool my two little cheeky parrots on my shoulders <laughs> so they have construction, equipment, items, nature, and inventory at the bottom. Now, what they added here, as you guys can see, there are some plus signs in some of the blocks. Now, if you click on the block, it will show the rest of the existing blocks. So, for this one, there's the rest of the wood blocks, the rest of the stairs, and that's for every single one. As you can see... And you can open up as many as you want, and you and in order to close it, you just need to tap it again. Now, another thing that they added in here is they added a search bar. For example, if we wanted to grab a sign, you just type in sign, you click on it, you click on the sign, you click on another empty space, and it brings it there, which is pretty awesome. Now, the last thing which I find quite handy our parrots to sit uh, no, 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 no. okay I need okay they need to sit they need to calm calm sit and sit okay cool so while they're sitting these parrots will not go on your shoulders just saying so now copy now, this is the best feature that they have added in Minecraft. You used to be able to make a copy of your world, and the only way you can make a copy of your world is going into the files, finding the Minecraft folder, and copying the world there. But now what you can do is you can copy the world within your Minecraft. So all you do is you click on the pencil, you scroll all the way down, you'll see delete world and copy world. You just click copy world, and then there you go, copy of top five. You go into that world. And everything is in their place. And this parrot is not sit. Okay, so apparently when you join the world, for some reason, these little cheeky parrots stand up for some reason, which I don't know why. So as you guys can see, everything is in their place, and here is the awesome thing. For example, you were playing on your original world, you collected some stuff in your inventory, and you left the game, you made the copy. If you go into the copy of your world, 
all the stuff you had in your inventory will still be there. So it's not like you're going to go into your copied world and you're going to come into the world as if you're a new player and you've never been in that world before. So you'll still have all your stuff that you had in your inventory, which I think is really nice. So anyway, guys, that is the top five that I have today. Uh, maybe it wasn't that interesting, but um, if you did not know some stuff about the new update, now you do. You now know that they added uh, the some of the missing stuff that was in PC. They added a new mob that's also in PC. They updated the inventory, updated the settings, and now you can make a copy of your world, which is just awesome. And this copy of the world I'm going to delete because I don't need it. <laughs> and if this world disappears, then that's okay. But anyway, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope that you have learned some new stuff and this video maybe helped you in a way. But anyway, guys, I hope you have a awesome day or a awesome night, depending on when you watch this video. And I'll see you felines later. Goodbye, felines!